Okay, welcome back. On this little model, we have two state charts in the same agent, which is the main agent. It is totally possible and it's totally fine to have two or more state charts if needed in only one agent. In this little model, we have a message transition from the first state to the second state and a transition to go back from the second state to the first state, which is uh, triggered by timeout after one second. We are doing this because we are interested in sending a message and then we want to go back to the first state to send another message again in a different way. Why in a different way? Because there are three different ways of sending a message to a state chart or to an agent. The three ways are send, deliver and fire event. I created this button with the code we want to use. You already know how radio buttons are created. This radio button uh, set is called send radio. And in the button, I created if send radio get value equals zero, meaning send is the option, then we will send the message to the agent, which is the main agent. You know this already. Then else if send radio button get value equals one, then we will use the deliver method. Also, it uses the message in the same way as the send. The difference between send and deliver is that deliver will send the message immediately and then it will continue with the next code while the send will create a separate event internally to uh, send the message. So it will run the rest of the code and then it will send the message. On the other hand, the fire event allows you to send the message to only one state chart. So in this case, state chart one, which is this one composed by state one and state three is the one who is going to receive the message. So the message is sent to a particular state chart and not to the full extent of the agent. So let's see the differences. And to see the differences, I created three printouts with trace ln. Here we see the message more button code, which is the code we put in the button. In this transition, I created a new print, which is transition triggered. So you know that the transition from state chart one is triggered, the message transition. And here in connections, I created another printout, which is called message received, meaning that the message was, was received by the agent and it's ready to trigger the transition. Okay, with all that said, let me run the model. You already know how to use the function send. So this is nothing new for you. If we choose send and send the message, you will see that both go to state two and state three, and then they go back through the uh, timeout trigger. So this is very simple. You will see that the message order is more button code, which is the, mess the uh, code we put in the button, then the message received, which is the code that I put in the connections, and then transition triggered, which is the code put in the transition. Now let's try deliver. They both change to state two and state three because we're sending the message to the agent itself, but the order in which things happen is different. First, the message is received through the connections. Then the code in the button is executed. And finally, the transition tier triggered. There's no difference there. And finally, the fire event will only trans make this state move. And if you see the order in which things happen, it uses more button code, which is the code I put in the button, and then directly transition triggered. So it didn't go through the connections, so the agent didn't receive the message really. It's just the state chart that was activated through the fire event function. 
So here you have learned new ways to send messages or to trigger transitions for different agents, deliver and fire events.